Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and today I'd like to show you a second part of the Aura HD um, cable box. I have received the remote control. The guys uh, that sell these boxes were very nice at sending me one very quickly, but uh, um, I wish it was included in a box. So let's, I got my TV connected and uh, I got the HDMI cable, I got the network cable and I got the power cable. Those are the only things we're gonna need for this box. This box does come with uh, the Wi-Fi cable. Uh, we are not going to use that today. Uh, basically the Wi-Fi is straightforward setup so we're going to connect our network cable and the HDMI cable and the last one we're going to connect our power cable. Now I have, this is my second box and on the first one I was uh, quite surprised to the fact that TV I have here does not support all the resolutions of the um, I thought it was HDMI or HDTV with uh, 1080p, it is not. So I have to set my resolution to something else. When you set resolution to something that TV cannot display, there is a way to reset the box. And to reset the box, and that took me a while, when you power up the box, when you plug in the power, you have to push and hold menu key. That key will put the box in uh, BIOS boot which allows you to either reset or change resolution. Basically there is no reset switch on this box. So I'll just show you. On the back of the box we have the USB, we have the RC, I don't know what that's for. We have the AV and the SPDIF audio. So you can connect the regular old-fashioned RCA uh, plugins over here for the audio video if you don't have the HDMI um, and you can connect the um, digital uh, audio sound to like your receiver. This output works even when you have the HDMI plugged in. So that's good. So if you want this box to be run through your uh, home theater, you can do that. So this is the first time that this box is powering up. It's going to ask me questions. Interesting, there is a mouse. I haven't tried plugging in the mouse. I don't know what it runs on the back. It's probably some kind of version of Linux. <clears throat> Okay, so select language. We are going to choose Russian. Ruski. Uh, we're gonna do setup. We're gonna do HDMI. Uh, we are not going to do the 1080p because that got me in trouble last time. We're gonna do the Ethernet. We're going to do that, check, click OK, Gord, um, the city, okay, you have to push this keyboard thingy, and we're going to choose M-I-L, no, okay, oh, we got to push the keyboard again to get rid of that, go up Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, I wish it had uh, picked up the time from that. Okay, we're going to pick Chicago and okay. The box is going to reset and hopefully we're gonna see the picture
Now this box supposedly shows um, quite a few Russian channels, Ukrainian channels and some other channels. Uh, you pay for the box but you do not pay for the channels. On the inside there are uh, other subscription based systems that uh, are given to you for free for one month and some are for a week okay that's bad so my TV is terrible it does not support any of my modes so this means we are going to have to put the box in okay let's do it this way in the boot mode so we hold down menu key point at the box unplug come on come on unplug okay now we hold before we plug it in and we hold the menu so here menu key hit the light and we plug it in would be nice if there was a switch okay when you hold the menu you're gonna get this um, screen and we are going to change resolution to um, let's see what should we pick TV system resolution let's see if that's gonna work 1080i let's see if 1080i works so exit and save okay press ok saving rebooting so let's hope this works basically if you have a TV a weird TV like I do uh, you're gonna have to play with resolutions so I'm using 1080i here in hopes that it'll work uh, if you have a newer TV it's really not a problem it automatically syncs to practically any frequency that this thing can generate <clears throat> All right, mode not supported. Okay, keep going down the list. Unplug. Hold menu. Believe me, when I did had to do this the first time, I was pissed. Uh, there was no instructions on how to change any of this stuff. So we'll do. NTSC 480i. All right, and here's the thing: exit and save. You don't push OK. You push this button, and then you push OK, and reboot. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Here's my fingers. Hopefully, it'll work this time. Uh, it's not the box, it is my TV, and uh, uh, it took me some time to realize that. Uh, last box I had, uh, I gave it to my mom. I um, had it for about, oh, I bought it about two months ago, so that's why I don't remember the resolutions I was using. But I do remember I got it working, and I do remember being pissed to hell at my TV, at the box, at the instructions. Okay, it works now. So. This TV is junk, even though it has the HDMI cable, it does not display stuff, it does not, you know, it's picky. So, maybe because this box is made in Ukraine. So, let's just wait and see. And I'm glad it actually didn't work, that I was able to show all the functions of the box. And going into the... Um, BIOS and reset. There is actually a function for complete reset. Okay, so uh, it wants us to update. Let's see if we can just. Okay, no. It doesn't let me uh, back out of it, but this shouldn't take that long. 
Um, interestingly enough, this one says that it updates to a version of October 25th. The other box I had was updating to a version November 11th or something like that. So it's interesting. They may have found some kind of bug in the, the update for November. So it's actually taking back to October. And I did notice the difference between uh, the pre-updated and post-updated box. Um, they, they don't work the same. Uh, also on my first box the USB port on the back didn't work uh, this one interestingly you can plug in your hard drive into it and you can record not everywhere in some places you can record the shows and those shows are recorded in plain MPEG you can play them on your computer um, so that's really nice I wish everything was that simple trying to find a way to record some of my older videos and I'm finding all kinds of problems with uh, 1080p, 1080i, um, not syncing, not working, um, number of lines, it's, it's no fun. So this one right now is going to finish the uh, updating of uh, the kernel and reboot once more and hopefully we'll be able to watch some um, some Russian TV By the way, the loading only takes um, in the beginning, um, after the box is fully loaded, um, up and running. It doesn't, you know, turn it off and on. It just uh, goes to sleep. It does not need to reload the whole operating system over again. It's not Russian anywhere, even though it's Russian made by Ukrainian. Okay, so there are several different uh, functions on here. We're only interested in the first one, the online media. We just push OK on it, and it takes us into um, okay, we just exit. Those are the uh, one month free of uh, uh, certain. paid systems like Cartina TV and Planet TV it's exit auto so this online TV the default that's free everything else is subscription based uh, like Planeta TV or Odina TV those those you have to get monthly fees for but they do give you some extras so we just push OK to go into the online TV And that's basically it. Um, it's going to load channel 1. You push OK to switch into a full screen mode. And that's it. Uh, we can go back 
to the channel list. Right. Oh, exit. And switch to a different channel. You can do preview. Um, the quality is good. You have to have good internet speed. I have uh, 6 megabit here, which is more, more than okay. And uh, it's better to have it connected through a wire. Also, the volume control will control the volume on your TV. Uh, we accidentally turned the volume down and uh, couldn't figure out why our TV wasn't producing any sound because we were trying to get sound up on TV, not on a box, so be aware of that. Uh, this covers uh, basic stuff of this uh, media player. Um, push OK. As you can see the quality is fairly good. I mean it's really good I should say. Um, for internet TV it does not jitter, it does not lag, it does not have uh, too many dropouts. Um, I like it. It's really nice. Hopefully they can keep this up for as they promise forever, free forever. Um, this box is not cheap if you are interested in purchasing a box uh, you can drop me a line I'll, um, I'll see if I can help you. Thank you.